Yeah. Light? Do we learn light? Oh, how can you Do we learn light? A little just bit. Just asking, Anila has foresight. He can see into future. We did a little bit. We did learn about light. But the idea was how the light passes through those walls, passes through the skylight. We did not study light specifically, right? So now we're going to look at what light can do in architecture, right? Anybody of you have any experience with light in architecture, in building or interiors? Attribution light. Yeah, what was your experience? I went there or I like the church of light. You were there? You saw it? Yeah. Physically? Yeah. Okay. Not on the web, right? No. Okay. So how was your experience? You feel how was how did the light flow? How much indirect light was there? How much direct light was there? Well, there's no I don't think there's interior lighting. They just came out from the the the, 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 the cross? And then also from the back. A little, a little bit from the back, and also there's a wall uh -huh. like cut through the, I mean, one of the wall, and then the light comes from there. Wow, very interesting. So there is no artificial light present in the Church of Light. So anybody else with unique experiences with light? Yes. I did uh, aviation lighting for buildings. Okay. And then uh, we did also a bit of lighting details for the mullions for lighting effect. Oh, cool, artificial. great. So, how was your experience? It's good. It's good. Uh, a lot of drawing, a lot of detailing, working back and forth with the consultants. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. So, what are we going to learn today about light in architecture? Anybody has any idea what are we going to look, look at? The light. Natural light. Yes, natural light, definitely. What are we looking at? What kind of the performance of light are we looking at? The effect that it gives to the room, like as we see here. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. Good. Yes. That's the drama of light. I'll tell you something. Light is the most dramatic, 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 come on, influence you can have on your building. Either the building will act as the actors of the drama, or the light is the actor, and building is the stage. So you have to understand the flow of light, how the light follows and falls on a particular object, how are the shadows created, how are various effects of particular building created because of light. All right. So let's look at a few of them. Look at the ceiling. Do you see the light bulb? Or you just see the light? The light. Looks like craters on the moon, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Looks like craters on the moon. But there's actually natural light coming down from the, from the roof above. Direct natural light coming down. Let's look at another example. I've seen this in one of your concert boards. I don't know who it is. I think Chao. No, I think it's her. Yeah, I mean. Oh, wow. So, what did, what, did you, what did you observe when you put this picture up? It's so grand. Okay, it is grand. Yes. Uh, it feels so bright. Okay. But have you observed that there is no incident light that hurts your eyes. Have you seen this? It's all indirect light. There's very little direct light, but a lot of indirect light that does not hurt your eyes, but clearly you can see everything up very bright, more than 60 candelas, right? Per square inch. Very clear, very crisp. You can see everything very clearly, very distinct, right? Now let's look at something else. What's this? Skylights. What are light poles doing here? 
What kind of pattern have they created? What are they doing here? Showing a path. Yeah, they're showing a path. Very good. Very good observation. They're showing a path. So a ceiling is designed in such a manner that when the light falls, it shows you the shows you the path. path that runs through the side, which is easy. So you're guided by light. You've heard it philosophically that you're guided by light, right? Turn off the phone, my man. You're guided by light. Philosophically. How are you guided by this light? Physically. So there is a sense of connection with the sight and the person using the sight. Right? So how does this work? How does this work? The arrangement? Yeah. The arrangement of light. Um, the arrangement basically of light on the path shows where to go. It, it gives a direction. Yes, it gives a direction to people, but how is it done? What is the process to achieve that? Um, figure out which way the sun travels during um, each solstice. Yes. And um, then designing um, the, um, the, the skylights the, in order to catch that light, because if you um, design it in such a way that it doesn't catch that light, you're just making holes for no reason. Light exactly. is not going to come oh. through. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if you have light and not necessarily the sunlight, I mean, if the sunlight would be directly in these holes, if you have a much greater effect, you would see the sun rays coming through the holes into the, to the floor. But I think the light... This is indirect sunlight. Yeah, so I'm thinking that even though the sun could be not necessarily, you know, facing right the wall, I think you would still have the light effect. Yeah. There is a mystery behind this picture. I want you to find out what the mystery is and how beautifully and intelligently this building is designed. Sun travels east to west, right? Mm -hmm. It casts shadow in one direction, it casts shadow in the other direction. Correct? So these shadows are being cast in this direction because it's evening. What about morning? Opposite. Opposite? Kind of. Shows you, they don't go opposite, oh, but it goes go all the way like that. So you can define the function during the day based on light. How can you define the function based on light? If you did do thorough light studies. How do you do thorough light studies? Come on, how do you do thorough light studies? Computers. What? Computer software. No? Basic, basic, look at the basic. I'm very thorough. No? Sundial. What? Sundial. No? Flashlight! If you know how the sun travels, use the flashlight over the model and you'll exactly create the kind of shadows you want, you need. And that's how you play to sculpt your form to get this kind of effect.